All right. Today's quick tip is a direct response to a few comments that I've received about balancing a talking head audio track like this with background music. And the difficulty that people have been having still being able to hear their talking head track while that background music track is playing. And today's quick tip is one very simple effect that you can put onto your audio track to, to fix all of that. I'm David Manning back again with another quick tip Tuesday. And before, I thought they were only going to be called Quick Tips, but Quick Tip Tuesday is just so fun to say. It's an alliteration, or at least the second two words are an alliteration, and I like alliterations. If you like today's video, hit the like button, but also subscribe. Make sure that you don't miss any Quick Tip Tuesdays in the future. Today we're gonna to be jumping into Premiere Pro, but this trick, this little little hack, kind of works for pretty much any audio program where you can apply audio effects. So I know it works in Resolve, and I'm positive it works in Final Cut Pro. All right, let's get into Premiere Pro. I have a talking head segment, it's about 15 seconds long, and we're gonna to listen to what it sounds like without any music, and then, and then we're gonna add some music onto it. And then we're gonna sneak our little effect on the music track and make it sound so nice. Here's a talking head clip totally by itself first. This is an audio sample track of me saying words so that you can hear me saying words and compare that to the audio track that's below me with and without the effect. What do you think? Do you like the effect? If you do like the effect, hit the like button below on this video. Okay, that is our talking head clip. 15 seconds, really quick, but you can hear that it's just talking, so there's no ambient music there. The first thing we need to do is bring in a music track. And for that, we're gonna head over to epidemicsound.com, which is where I get all the music for all the videos that you hear on this channel. They're a super easy and affordable subscription service so that you can get really high quality audio and you don't have to go searching around the internet and then get copyright claimed on your videos, which sucks. If you guys don't already have something like that, click the first link in the description, it takes you to epidemicsound.com and you get two months free. Okay, into epidemic sound here, I'm gonna go up to browse. This is gonna bring up all of my different feature genres and uh, let's, let's just go ahead with beats. Beats is usually a pretty solid choice for any sort of background music track that you're looking for. I'm gonna go in here and under moods, I like, I like happy and I like laid back. Both of those make for a good like upbeat vibe, but pretty chill, like it's not too in your face, but it's still, it's still happy, it's still nice. And then under vocals, we're gonna go to instrumentals and that's a super nice feature that they have in there just to eliminate and filter down to audio music that doesn't have words in it. Don't play words in your songs while you're trying to talk over them, pro tip. All right, then we look down here and we have a whole list of songs that match that match our criteria now. Let's click the first one here. Fredagms, how do you say that? That's a good song. I've used that song in videos before and I really like it. Let's go with Halftime by Yellow Bass though. Let's hear this one. Okay, that's perfect. It's got a great vibe. It's very upbeat, but it also feels kind of chill. It feels like it would be just music playing in the background. And that's kind of the effect that we're going for. We're just trying to have music playing that sounds like it's playing in the background. So we can still have a conversation, but the music is playing and there's still good vibes in the room. So jumping back in here, we're gonna take halftime yellow bass and we are going to download the full mix. Bloop. And we're gonna flip back over to Premiere Pro and we're gonna get that song imported. So now we have it in there, we're just gonna drag it down so it's below our talking head and then hit this little S and that's gonna solo the track. And that just means we're only gonna hear that audio track. So when I hit play, I can focus on that one audio track, I can hear exactly what it sounds like, make my adjustments, then unclick the S 
and hear how it plays with the rest of the tracks. Now, normally I would start a music track a little bit louder for an intro type of thing, like at the beginning of this video, and then I would make it quieter at the moment that maybe some audio comes in and I start talking. But for demonstration purposes, we're gonna start the music track at kind of the most energetic part of the song. That way you can really see how well this effect works. Okay, let's start the song. <laughs> right there. All right, so we have everything in place right now. If we listen to it right now, the music track is at full volume and so is the talking head track and it would sound it would sound like this. This is an audio sample track of me saying words so you can hear me saying words. Total garbage. That's ridiculous. That's like being in a club and trying to have a conversation. So, we're going to turn the volume down. And to do that, we're going to click down here on our audio track click this volume bar and I'm just gonna drag the entire volume bar down. Let's go down to something like negative 26. If I hit command while doing this, it gets a little more fine tuny So let's hone in to something like 26, negative 26.5 decibels on our music track. Now it sounds like this. This is an audio sample track of me saying words so that you can hear me saying words and compare that to the audio track that's below me with and without the effect. What do you think? Do you like the effect? If you do like the effect, hit the like button below on this video. So that is just the volume turned down. This is what most people do. Most people stop here and they go, ah, I hope it's good enough. I hope people can hear me over the audio. Or they turn the volume on the music track down so far that you really can't even hear the music track just so that you can hear them clearly. Today's quick tip though is one so that we can do both. We can have that audio a little higher, a little more energy from the music, but you can still hear what you're saying clearly. And this is all we're gonna do. We're gonna go over here to our effects. We're gonna search for parametric equalizer and go down here into our audio effects, grab the parametric equalizer, and we're gonna drag it onto our music track. Now, once it's on the music track, up here in our effects control panel, we're gonna click edit. And that brings up our parametric equalizer. The parametric equalizer is wildly powerful within Premiere Pro, but we're gonna use one very, very simple effect on our music track to, to make sure that we can hear our talking head clip very clear. We go right over here on the right hand side to LP, which means low pass. And when we click on that, you're gonna see this curve right at the top pop up. We're gonna slide that guy away from there. And LP, this little dot, I can move that dot around. I can drag it way down here. I can pull it all the way up here. But wherever I put it, whatever's underneath that curve, that's the audio that I'm letting into my track. That's the audio that I'm gonna be able to hear. So everything up here now is just cut off. So everything below the curve, you can hear. Everything above the curve, and for this effect, we're gonna take the low pass and we're gonna bring it somewhere down around the 3K mark. So at 3000 Hertz, it just stops. Any audio, any sound that's above 3000 Hertz, we are no longer going to hear it. And guys, that's it. That's the only thing we're gonna do to the audio track to make the talking head sound better. Go ahead and close out of that. And let's hear what it sounds like now with the music track at the same decibel level, the negative 26.5, but we've just applied that one effect. This is an audio sample track of me saying words so that you can hear me saying words and compare that to the audio track that's below me with and without the effect. What do you think? Do you like the effect? If you do like the effect, hit the like button below on this video. Okay, and one more time without the effect. So you can hear the difference side by side. This is without the low pass filter on there. It sounds like this. This is an audio sample track of me saying words so that you can hear me saying words and compare that to the audio track that's below me with and with. And here's that same piece again with the effect. This is an audio sample track of me saying words so that you can hear me saying words and compare that to the audio track that's below me with and without the effect. What do you think? Do you like the effect? If you do like the effect, hit the like button below on this video. Could you hear the difference? It's subtle, but when you take out those highs, you can hear the highs in my voice so much better. It sounds like, like almost a more bassy version of the same song. And guys, that is it. That is your quick tip Tuesday for the week. Take this, 
put it in your pocket, and next time you make a Talking Head video, take that music track from Epidemic Sound, drop it below, duck the volume a little bit, but add that low pass filter, you are gonna get awesome, awesome results. And when you make those videos and you post them on YouTube, comment below and send me a link to your video. I wanna hear how you did it. I wanna hear how well you brought that low pass on, where you chopped it off at, and if that makes your Talking Head audio clips sound even better. It's like magic. It's like Houdini. Like Houdini magic with one simple effect. Very simple effect, magic. Magic.